Did I miss something in here? Alright, that's weird. That shouldn't have done that. That didn't- oh, it's in the middle of the fucking room. I thought it would be right by the stairs. He's moving on to the next area that I have to be, obviously. Oh dear god, you gotta be kidding. I'm gonna need my notepad for this. <laughs> this is gonna be a doozy, folks. But we're... Oh my god. We're not near the end of this. I don't believe it. I thought we were near the end. Oh boy. I thought we were a lot closer to the end of this than we are. All right. Since he's not here anymore, I'm going to go in every room I couldn't go in. See if we can get some goodies. Then we're going to save. Oh, we're going to have to go to the, uh... We have to go to the Earth Science Lab first. <laughs> Document, oh no! There used to be a pond in the spot before the new building was built. Of course, there was rumors that the pond was haunted. According to local legends, there's a cursed pond. The souls of people drowned there. The pond were trapped in it. The only way to the imprisoned soul could escape the pond was dragging the soul into the pond. That's why the ghosts of the pond were more bloodthirsty, killing more people. At its worst, the pond claimed the life every month. Jesus. The school warned students about the pond, but the drownings did not stop. Some people wanted to fill the pond in, but the chairman decided against it. The chairman sent the pond to the Feng Shui to flow well. Oh, boy. I mean, how important is Feng Shui when people are dying, you know? 
Well, I later found out just how important Peng Shui is. Anyways, because of the fierce protest, it was finally decided that the pond was to be filled in. But on that first day of filling in the pond, the machine operator died of a heart attack. After that, the school had to hold a purification ritual every year for the pond. Time passed, and the new building was built over the spot where the pond used to be. No more rituals. Lately, though, there are rumors that ghosts are showing up again. They say a girl's ghost drenched in water wearing an old school uniform can only be seen in the history room. Is being spotted. <coughs> She's got to be one of the ghosts of a student that died in the pond. You might ask why the pond ghost would appear in the, when the pond is gone. Well, it's hard to explain, but this world and the underworld exist in the same space. What does that mean? It means the humans and ghosts occupy the same space, but in a different, for lack of better world dimensions. You could also compare it to radios, each of them giving off its own frequency. And that's why humans ghosts can off and influence each other. So if there's a building built over where the pond was in, the, in this world, that pond could still be there in the underworld dimension. I'll try to find the truth of all this today. I'll finally be able to create the occult club. The teachers hate it. They say I'm wasting my precious youth, even though people find the club weird. My club is not a joke. We investigate and research the supernatural phenomena that cannot be explained by our science. Naturally, the quickest way of proving our worthy cause would be finding a ghost. Just by sheer luck, I've recently come upon something called Elrod, which is magical powers. The person who found it told me it can detect ghosts as well as being used as dowsing rod. He's there. I'm going right upstairs. documents are about the world time at the end of the 19th century great britain's major uh, greenwich meridian was set as the prime meridian during the international meridian conference in washington dc using the greenwich meridian as standard an hour was added or subtracted every 15 degrees depending on the direction east or west after this the whole world began using gmt greenwich meridian time at standard time but then the dime difference is as follows all the time for each city greenwich plus zero Washington, negative three. Moscow, plus three. Beijing, plus eight. Simple enough. So, 11 o'clock. Now we need to go into the computer lab, the art studio, and the cult club. Oh, good. They're right here. I can't get past these. Plus three hours, so that would be two o'clock. Go off Yanni Tour. Beijing is, I believe, plus eight. So eleven plus eight would be seven.
You knew the prick wouldn't make this easy, right? By the way, I think I have the rooftop key. <clears throat> Tell you one thing, I would take a time puzzle at this point. So the next one should be negative seven hours. I mean negative three hours. So it should be 8 o'clock. Washington. This is negative 3 hours. Spirit Bell and the L Rods. Okay, head to the rooftop pool. There's a shock, he showed up. Love waiting for the janitor to jerk off alone. Make sure if he's in this hallway, I'll just. Yep. Ghost farting? All right, I think we get some janitor free time. Yay! <laughs> Whoa, that pool needs some chlorine big time.
Um. <clears throat> the Black Hat DLC is okay. What the hell am I supposed to do here? Jesus Christ, there's an albinoid. Um, uh, you know what? The, the DLC itself is fine. The screwball missions are fucking bullshit. And the, um... One second. And the, um... <laughs> the warehouses get increasingly difficult. So I... It was okay. I like the story element of it. But the rest of it can suck a dick. Bullshit. I'm not causing it. If she kills me, she kills me. I don't give a fuck. But if it didn't save me and when I went through that door, well, there's gonna be hell to pay. Fucking bullshit! I will say that the um the the final DLC is worth doing just for the suit you unlock, as you unlock the goddamn Raimi suit and. And the um into the Spider-Verse suit.
Fuck you, hunt. Taskmaster's in the main game. There are secret Taskmaster missions all over the game. Great. As I'm fucking leaving, she hits me. Fuck you. Okay, I'm on the right side. Almost forgot to drain the damn pool. Yeah, there's like four or five Taskmaster uh, <coughs> missions in the game. And you fight the last one, you find them yourself. So, I got this bitch is still here, I'm gonna fucking scream. I would give anything to load the janitor into this pool and then fill it up and watch him drown. He's gonna turn right, watch this. Bingo! Yeah, in fact, I think Screwball is the reason I am not going to Platinum Spider-Man.
Wait a minute. I am on 3F, son of a bitch. Those are the doors I need to get to down there. The ones he's standing right in front of. By the way, anybody even remotely see how he could have possibly seen me? Lady. Nobody ever escapes this school. Die! Let me through! I must get in! I'm begging! My daughter's in there! Let go of me! No! no! I don't think they're thinking that far ahead for game three. I'm sure. <laughs> The next one's gonna be. My daughter. Oh, please tell me he kills. She kills him. For what you did. Um, next will be definitely Miles centric, like and I think the third one will be. Tell me why my daughter had to die. A mix of the both of them. It's your turn. Suffer like my child. Yeah! Suffer like she did. What the hell? <laughs> After this, he runs to the breakers on 4F. Oh, okay. I mean, they're definitely grooming Miles and... After the success of Into the Spider-Verse, they'd be nuts not to. Um, in fact, you might even see Spidey taking a back seat just to be with MJ. God knows where this will end up. If I suck it up. in the um in the fucking alarm I know I did that's horse shit 